Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, I have a huge Scentsy box to get into. I'm so excited. This is a party closeout order that I did. I got um, a lot of bars. I got another one of my favorite warmers. And a few other nicks and knacks. Nicks and knacks. A few other knickknacks in here that I'm really excited to share with you. So let's open this up and dive right into it. Without further ado, let's get into it. Got my handy dandy scissors here, and we are just gonna pop this open. I am so excited for this order, mainly because there's a new system, not new or new to me, just one that I haven't had in a while that I needed to get more of. Look at all of this. Scentsy paper. So much paper, you guys. All the paper. All right, so now that that's done, oh, my cat is still sleeping back there. I thought for sure that would, uh, that would wake him up. But first thing, I picked up another pack of catalogs. I'm actually gonna use one of these for reference for my new fragrances in here but i definitely picked up some catalogs i had a few customers that needed some and i ran out so i wanted to pick up some more there i will leave that there for reference i picked up a three pack of counter cleans because i love my counter cleans and i'm almost out i have very seasonal ones so i figured with a party closeout i'll pick some more up I got Squeeze the Day, which is so great in the counter clean. And I'm obsessed with these like fun, colorful labels. So cute, so festive. And this one with the lemons on it, so cute. This is like a lemon vanilla. I got Make a Splash, which is another one of my favorites. I love this in bars. I love this in wax. I love it in everything. It's just sweet, a little floral, a little apple, a little aquatic. And then look at the packaging on this Johnny Apple seed. <gasps> There's little like little apple guy there and he's like dancing around the apple tree. So cute. And Johnny Apple seed is one of my favorites, especially in the counter clean. I picked up ugh, I can't believe I got one of these, but it was half off with my host reward. So, I figured well, I pick it up. Washer whiffs in fluffy fleece. I'm not even going to mess with Honestly, the laundry liquid or the dryer discs, because I find them very useless. They don't really add anything to my laundry, but the washer whiffs, <gasps> they also don't really do much for me. At least I don't think so, but everybody's been raving about the fluffy fleece washer whiffs. So I'm gonna try them for like my robes, my hoodies, my, oh my God, I can already smell it right here. And my um, like bedding. So the next time I wash my bedding and stuff, I will add the washer whiffs and fluffy fleece to see how it works because $30 for full price, but I got these half off with host rewards, which if you want to know how I get these half off, you host a party, you open up a shopping link and you can get all these goodies for free or half off. It's the best. <gasps> I picked up another Simply Diamond warmer, you guys. When I first saw this warmer, I was so against it. I was like, that is so like small and just not practical. I have no desire for it, but honestly, I'm obsessed with it. I have it in my office and the hot plate, it's like, isn't it 12 watts? It's a very hot, hot plate for Scentsy and it just melts the wax so well. And not only does it melt the wax so well, it just performs and it's adorable. So this is the Simply Diamond. I showed it in my last haul, but I picked up another one. And I do have the new release Father's Day bars to sniff through. And for Father's Day, this is going to be in slate gray, which I'm obsessed with. And I did pick up another one of these because I'm obsessed with symmetry. I love everything to be two of the same if they're like flanking a table. And I have one on my end, my night, my nightstand in my room. I wanted a second one. So obsessed with that warmer. And I believe the Father's Day line launches on, yes, it launches on May 8th. So still have a while for that. And then I picked up this guy. Now I have so many pods because I bought a bunch of them for my air purifier. And let me tell you, I've said before, I just don't feel like it's 
worth it. I feel like I'm wasting pods using them in my air purifier because you really can't smell them. So I decided with my party credits to buy a wall fan diffuser and I love gray, I love neutrals. So I decided to pick up this gray zigzag and oh my gosh, <gasps> I love this. Oh, is this gonna go on? There we go. Oh my gosh, it looks perfect. So if you've ever seen a wall fan diffuser, they look like this. And essentially what you do, is you take your pods, you stick them in here. There's a little fan that turns on with the touch of a button and then it fragrances your space. I have not had a plug in my bathroom since I moved in. So I finally got one installed, an electrician came over and put a plug in there. So this is gonna go in my bathroom and I'm gonna see how the pods work. My plug is upright like this, so it has to be a three prong like that. And your scent comes through here. Nice if you have cats or animals that knock things over. I just wanna really go through my pods and use them so they don't just sit there and lose their scent and waste them. So I picked this up because of that. And now let's dive into the bars. I got a lot of bars. I got a couple six packs and then I got two packs of the Father's Day bars because if I wanna melt them in my open space here, I need at least two bars. So some more scentsy paper. Oh, I forgot about this. I also got some scent circles. I like to include these in Happy Mail for my customers. I also like to use them for myself especially in the summertime. I think these work a little bit better with the warmth in the car. So I picked up a Lake My Day. Make a Splash. Johnny Appleseed. Aloe Water and Cucumber, my favorite. By the Sea. And Black Raspberry Vanilla. And if you're not aware, Certain fragrances actually have a little saying on the back, not all of them, but the Black Raspberry Vanilla says, you are very special, so super cute. Picked up those. And then I always say this in every video because it's so true. Look how beautiful. There's nothing more beautiful than a box of ours. All right, let's dive right in. I got my catalog and the first one I picked up is a peeling apple. Now, you'll see in my empties video, <sighs> apple teeny splash. It's very rare that I find a scent that I just cannot stand, and apple teeny splash is one of them. But anyway, a peeling apple says, the sugary sweetness of juicy apple and lively pear are even more tempting with a touch of flowering sweet pea. And this is so, so nice. I was actually watching a video from Robin H where she did the comparison of Apple Teeny Splash, Johnny Appleseed, and Appealing Apple and how different they are. And this one is definitely more like a body care, fruity mix apple. Johnny Appleseed is more your classic apple and Apple Teeny Splash is <laughs> very, very sweet, sugary apple. But apple, up, appealing apple is really yummy. I always enjoy that one. Blue agave and melon. And honestly, I don't even remember this one. So this is a sweet desert oasis lush with blue agave, honeydew melon, and kiwi. Mm. Okay, it's, it's definitely sweet and fruity. I don't say melon is definitely like the top that I notice. It's fresh. It, it leans more fresh than fruity to me. Maybe because of the blue agave. Interesting. I definitely prefer, which we don't have any more, Mad for Melon. I loved Mad for Melon, but this is blue agave and melon. Wanted to pick that up. S whoop, almost dropped it. Skinny Dippin'. I haven't had Skinny Dippin' in such a long time. Fresh green apple perfectly harmonizes with refreshing melons and juicy pears. This is so yummy. This is a better melon than blue agave and melon to me. This is more true fruity melon. And I know like the color is literally like cantaloupe. And that's what it just reminds me of. It reminds me of when you get like a fruit salad that has watermelon, honeydew, and cantaloupe, and they're like in those round spheres, perfectly melon balled. That's what this smells like. I really enjoy Skinny Dippin' a lot. 
Blue Grotto. This smells just like the Capri Blue Volcano Candle. Mm, gonna focus? Maybe not. Nope. He said not today. Let's try it again. There we go. I'm actually burning, uh, not right now, but I have it in my rotation of the Blue Grotto. I love, or of the Volcano Candle. And it is a bestseller. Run away with fresh tropical notes, sweet citrus, and lush botanicals. And yeah, it smells just like it. Sweet citrusy with a little bit of green notes in there. Really pretty. Mm. This scent. Love, and I cannot believe I did not order this um, for myself in my last order. A friend did. Rainbow Sherbet. I picked two of these up. It totally smells like rainbow sherbet. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. It's delicious. It's a classic. Orange zest, sugar, strawberry, and key lime zing just like the real thing. And absolutely, oh my gosh, it is so good. It smells just like sweet, sugary sherbet. Obsessed. I picked up French Lavender, which is not in the catalog. This was part of the Epcot collection. They did those three Epcot bars, and then they did three fragrances from Scentsy that like went with it. So we had Sunkissed Citrus, French Lavender, and there was one more I can't think of right now. But the French Lavender... I haven't had it in a long time, but it truly does smell like that French herbal lavender. Very, very purple, deep lavender. And these clams are so thin lately. I mean, that's crazy. Please tell me I'm not the only one that's noticed that. These clams are so thin. But yeah, mm, it's really yummy. I have it in my club now because you can add it to your club for 30 days since the Epcot bars launched because they... It's not in the catalog anymore. It's really yummy. Pina Colada Cha Cha. Now this is so delicious. I also, in my last video, talked about Pineapple Pucker and said I didn't order it. Oh, it's not available anymore. I loved Pineapple Pucker. I feel like there's a lot of people who either love pineapple or hate pineapple. I happen to love pineapple. And this is equally pineapple and coconut, which is, coconut's not my favorite. However, mixed with a pineapple, when I'm in that mood for a tropical scent once every summer, um, I have something to melt. Speaking of coconut, I'm just trying to try scents that I haven't tried in a long time or ever. Mahalo coconut, especially when you're in a new space. I feel like whenever you move, you need to try scents you, you tried before that didn't work for you because you never know how it will work in your new space. Just like I'm melting sugar blossoms right now throughout my open space, really like it. Mahalo Coconut. Paradise is only a whiff away with floral Hawaiian lei and violet over fruity fresh pineapple and coconut. Again, I don't love coconut, but I like to have coconut wax. So that way that one time that I might be in the mood for it in the summer. This is nice. It is a fruity. It definitely doesn't lean sunscreeny like Soak and Rays or some of the other coconut bars do. It's definitely more like body care coconut, which I'm not mad about. I picked up another tangerine creamsicle because I'm obsessed with this. I love it. Icy tangerine blended with mango and vanilla cream swirl make the sweetest tropical treat. Yes, it smells just like an orange dreamsicle and the color's great. This is my version of a summer scent, like a summer treat, like a summer delicious food. I picked up two more of aloe water and cucumber. This, if this ever goes away, you guys, ever, I'm gonna have a monthly club with two of these a month because I, I never wanna be without it. And I wish Scentsy would make aloe water and cucumber in bricks because it's so good. Oh, it's so good. It's pineapple, aloe water, cucumber, and palm frond, I think. Let me look real quick. Aloe water, cucumber peel, palm frond, and pineapple nectar is beautiful. It's so good. It's so fresh and sweet and clean and delightful. I love it. Never want to be without it. I have a stockpile of them now. I picked up Sparkling Yellow, which is new for this catalog. It was part of the uh, um, Chasing Rainbows collection, which I never did order. This one is Radiant Lemonade, brightened by flashes of zesty grapefruit and pineapple. Yum. This is like a super vibrant yellow. This smells just like pink lemonade. Like, totally like pink lemonade. Wow. 
like very strong pink lemonade. It's really good. Just definitely gives me that bright pink lemonade. Ooh, I actually really like that a lot. Yum, really enjoy this. Okay, sparkling yellow, yummy. Oh, I have so many. This one, Summer Moonlight. I I feel like not a lot of people talk about this, which doesn't mean it's, I, I don't know. That doesn't, doesn't suit it well. Fresh strawberries sparkle alongside sweet pea and shimmering sandalwood. I do remember a couple people talked about this being very, very light. It's very light even on cold. It doesn't really smell like much of anything. Sweet pea, strawberry, and sandalwood. This kind of smells like... If you put on like a fruity body lotion in the morning and like what it would smell like at the end of the day if you didn't like shower. Like, you know what I mean? So you wake up in the morning, say you go to the gym, whatever, you come home, you put lotion on, go to work, do all your things, come home and get ready for bed. And like you smell your skin. It's just like the lingering body care note. And I feel like the sandalwood is representing like your skin. I don't know. Very odd. I'm gonna let that one sit for a little bit. Camu Camu, this is another one I had years and years and years and years and years ago that I just, I don't remember. This one is Tropical Oasis of Lush Mandarin, Camu Camu, and Passion Fruit. Hmm. Wow, I like don't remember this at all. I, and it's like such a classic, I've had it so many times. It's, it's fruity. Like the thing with me and summer and why they're not my favorite scents and why I love bakery is because like a smoothie, you can really add any fruits you want and it's going to taste good. You know what I mean? Like you can add strawberry, blueberry, banana. You can have strawberry, blackberry, banana. You can have strawberry, pineapple, and banana. And like, it's all going to taste fruity. And that's how I feel like with summer, you really have to, you have to find what you really like and stick with that because I just, like, they all just smell nice and fine, but there's not one, like, if this went away, I would never add this to my club. If Skinny Dippin' went away, I would never add it to my club. If Pina Colada Cha Cha went away, I would never add it to my club. They're just like, there's fruity scents that just don't really do anything for me. I don't know, they just all smell Similar, uh, they're different, don't get me wrong, but like, it just smells like a smoothie. It's kind of like, it's just a mix of fruits. Let me know if you feel that way. I don't know, I do. Next we have Shoreline Drive. I don't remember what this smells like, but I do remember having it at my old place and I loved it. That's what I remember. Shoreline Drive, take the scenic route with dewy greens and passion flower as sea mist guides the way. Mmm. Maybe I didn't remember liking it. Mm, it smells very salty sea air vibe. Kind of like, hear me out. The salty sea-ness of Orchard by the Sea without apple. Which, no, I have not melted the bricks yet. I'm waiting. I have a stack of wax I want to get through first. And I want to just let them sit and cure. Huh. Yeah. It smells just like very like ozonic, salty sea. Not like watery though, just like the ozone around the beach. I do remember it being strong, but that's all I remember. And Ruby Nectarine, I've seen so many videos of people saying this one was like so, 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 so strong and I've never tried it. So this is Juicy nectarine and ruby apple blended with pear blossom put a fresh spin on a fruity. And this has a scent of the month sticker because it used to be a scent of the month. It's very strong. Like even here, wow. It's very strong. Nectarine, mm, apple, pear blossom. I can get that. Again, it kind of just smells like a fruity concoction body care type of scent. Like I could easily, if I close my eyes and smell this, I could picture this being like a Bath and Body Works shower gel. 
like for the summer. Be like, oh yeah, that smells like a Bath and Body Works shower gel. Not a bad thing, just kind of smells like shower gel. So there's that. This guy is the scent of the month currently for April, and this is Chamomile Petals. I typically get at least the scent of the month kit, but honestly, this just did nothing for me, so I did not order it because mainly I don't like jasmine and I don't like chamomile. And this is jasmine, chamomile petals, and apple. So I just don't like the scent of like chamomile tea or anything chamomile. Hmm. It's very light. Very light. Huh. I get like the lightest hint of like a white tea. Which remember white tea and sage? No, that was yeah, that was Bath and Body Works. Didn't we have a white tea? White tea and cactus. I really liked white tea and cactus. Just a side note. This is okay. It's like a light floral. And they've added apple to sweeten it up and make it like suitable for everybody, but it's okay. Um I'm gonna melt it. I, I'll see. It's not one that I'm gonna write home about. All right, Father's Day. We have High Mountain Lake and Desert Rock and Citron. Now, Mother's Day was a very interesting with Blue Coconut Beach and um, Wildflower Cotton, which was very masculine. So we shall see what this brings. So. We're gonna start with Desert Rock and Citron. Now, obviously this is first impressions. These ones do not come out till May 8th, but let's give it a sniff. This says, fresh water accented with lemon and mint leaf splashes over a warm desert rock. All right, so lemon, mint leaf. Oh, this is High Mountain Lake. This is Desert Rock and Citron, which is the description that I just read to you. Okay, Desert Rock and Citron, water, mint leaf, and lemon. Now, Bath & Butter Works used to have a scent, lemon, mint leaf. Let's see if this smells like it. Oh. Oh. This is very interesting. I have, now, I saw Brett and Brad post their video last night and I knew this was out for delivery today so I did not watch it. I clicked on the video and I commented I'm like oh, I'm getting my bars I'm not gonna watch your video but as soon as I'm done with this when I'm editing it on the couch I'm gonna put their video on the TV so it'll be curious to see how they compare. Hmm very very light I can get lemon mint leaf. Like I can get that Bath and Body Works vibe. It doesn't smell identical. As weird as this sounds, it's very, very watery, but not watered down. Like actually water. I, I love the color too. This is like very watery. It's very interesting. Hmm. Like a very watery lemon mint. Now. I did not like that Mint Fields from the Epcot collection. No, that was way too like Mint Mint. This one is more like a lemon plant. Like you're cutting a leaf off of a lemon plant. So it has like the essence of lemon, like a lemon LaCroix. Honestly, this kind of smells like a lemon LaCroix. If, if, I, if I'm like thinking like that. Like, like a sparkling lemon drink, but very light. Like not light, the bar's strong itself. Like it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a strong scent from cold, but the lemon note's light. The water note is the strongest. That's really interesting. Very interesting. I could see a guy burning that candle or melting that wax, honestly. All right, and now the next one, High Mountain Lake. Very excited for this one. A grove of sandalwood, violet leaf, and Virginia cedar shades deep notes of amber. I love cedarwood in wax. I love cedarwood in fragrance. So I'm excited for this one. Oh, 
I really like, this smells very similar to something else we've had. Or something I've had outside of Scentsy. Oh, this is, this is really nice. If this performs well, this is gonna go in my club. This smells like a men's, like a, like a sophisticated man's bedroom. Have you ever seen on TikTok, these guys who like, there's like a guy who like irons his sheets and like those videos of like, get ready with me. And it's like a guy living alone, typically like goes to Equinox gym, very put together. This is what I picture his bedroom smelling like. You get the cedar wood, you get the sandalwood. The violet is the lightest floral that just like brings this all together. Oh, this is really nice. I, I really like this. I'm gonna let this sit for a month. So today is April 17th, April 18th. So I won't melt this till mid-May, like a week after it comes out. I love that since he's doing these early releases though, so we can have the bars, but I wanna let this sit for a good while so I can get its full potential, at least 30 days, because these were definitely freshly poured. That's the thing about Scentsy, especially with these new releases. Somebody, I forget who was it, maybe Ashley, um, she read the um, the pour date, which I can never see, but um, they were like poured like two weeks before you get them. So these are still very fresh. So I believe in curing all of my wax, my candles, all of that. So I am gonna let these sit and cure before I melt them, but I really like this. This is good. I'll be curious to see how it melts, but this I really like. And the color, this is gonna look like beautiful lake water when it melts in a warmer. In that in that new slate warmer, which I'm definitely getting two of when they launch, because I love it. Yeah, definitely. I have grays in here, so I think they'll look good on the end tables of the couch. Definitely, but that was my video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, any consultants out there, if you picked up the Father's Day bars, let me know what you think down below. I'll be very curious to see Linda H and what she thinks because I feel like these scents are very much up her alley. I know a lot of us love our bakery and our fruity and foodie scents, but I really do like fresh scents and I've been evolving into more fresh scents as I've gotten older. So those definitely gravitate towards me for sure. As a Father's Day collection, sure. I mean, they really smell unisex to me, but thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment down below, subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you stay alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. I love you all so much and be kind. Bye guys.